the Justice Department has opened a civil investigation to determine whether the Minneapolis Police Department engages in a pattern or practice of unconstitutional or unlawful policing. More than two years after Attorney General Merrick Garland made that announcement, we may see results of that investigation today. The Justice Department is in Minneapolis this morning getting ready to present the findings of its two-year-long investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department. Our Saquon joins us now live from the federal courthouse in downtown Minneapolis, where we are expecting to learn more about the probe in just a couple of hours. Say good morning. Good morning, Tom and Hannah. That's right. Certainly a lot of eyes on Minneapolis today. Uh, that federal probe was actually launched back in April of 2021, just one day after a former Minneapolis police officer, Derek Chauvin, was found guilty of George Floyd's murder. Now, these findings here today should give us a better idea of the MPD's policing practices and whether there are any systemic problems within the department itself. Now, we are also expecting U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland uh, to talk about whether Minneapolis officers routinely use excessive force, including during protests and whether they engage in discriminatory policing. Federal investigators vowed to ask community groups and the public about their encounters with police and look into these policies, training and supervision. The challenges we face are deeply woven into our history. They did not arise today or last year. Building trust between community and law enforcement will take time and effort by all of us, but we undertake this task with determination and urgency, knowing that change cannot wait. Well, if you recall, the state actually completed a similar investigation just last year, finding probable cause that the city of Minneapolis and MPD engage in a pattern of racial discrimination violating state law. To settle that case, though, we know city council members here approved some changes for the police department that was in March of this year, including more training and oversight. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland is set to release those findings at 10 o'clock here at the federal courthouse. That would be alongside Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry and, of course, Brian O'Hara, the police chief. Now, keep in mind, investigations where they typically look into these alleged civil rights violations usually result in what's known as a consent decree. And it's actually several police departments in many other cities, like Seattle, for example, actually operate under them. So that would overlap the settlement with the state and would give the Justice Department then the oversight of reforms within the department. So certainly a lot of eyes here at the federal courthouse this morning. Guys. Yeah, big, big announcement, big names in town. Again, that's happening at 10 o'clock this morning and we'll be uh, taking it live here on Fox right here. 9.